has an opportunity, turns the corner, gets the equalizer. Big hit, how about that? How do you like that? Stops the first penalty kick he sees. It's loose in front of the goal cage, and it's put in. Oh, my, oh, my. She's going to take another shot, and it's into the back of the net. Once again, Patriot League champions. It's a gorgeous afternoon for soccer in Baltimore, Maryland, and a championship is on the line in the Patriot League. You're watching coverage of the 2018 Patriot League Men's Soccer Championship. It's the number five seed Army taking on the number three seed Colgate at Ridley Athletic Complex. Let's take a look at how we got here. Army in PKs beat BU, pulled off the upset against Loyola. Colgate in OT against American, and then a two to one win against Lehigh. And here we are in the championship game. With that, we say good afternoon, everybody. Alongside the three-time champ, the former Colgate Raider, Stephen Miller. I'm DJ Sixsmith. So, Stephen, Army hasn't won since 1996. Haven't been the championship game since 96. Colgate going for the three-peat. What are you most excited about today? Yeah, I think it's going to be a great game. It's going to be a close game. Two great defenses. Not going to give up much. Uh, Colgate will have the possession. Uh, Army will be defensively sound, compact, but they're going to look to counterattack. Big story of the week. Army pulling off the upset against Loyola. Let's take a look back. Oscar Pereira on the cross, setting up Keenan O'Shea, the leading goal scorer in the conference. One to nothing. Army beats Loyola on its home field. Army playing in the championship game for the first time since the mid-90s. And Keenan O'Shea, Stephen, he's going to be the X-factor. What do you like about him the most? Absolutely. He's a pure goal scorer. Clearly 12 goals in the Patriot League, leading the Patriot League this year. He can score with both feet. He can score in the box with his head. You can see all it takes is one touch from this guy to make an impact in this game. And he had two goals against American just to get Army into the tournament. Meanwhile, for Colgate, pretty interesting game for them against Lehigh, a two to one win. Let's take a look back at that. Those first couple of minutes, Lehigh looked great. And then this was the play that changed the game. Oliver Harris in the box gets tripped up. Penalty kick coming up. Lehigh couldn't believe it. Oliver Harris had himself a game. Two goals, his first career game with two goals. That was one part of the story. Colgate wins, but late in the game, Arma Legion gets a red card. What did you think of the yeah, call? Yeah, I, I agreed with it. Gets a red card. Uchini has a step on him, going to goal. Last man back, prevents the goal scoring opportunity. Tough loss for Colgate not having their senior star out on the field. And he was just absolutely devastated. Olegian is out for this game. If Colgate wins, he'll have an opportunity to play. Eric Ronning telling us all the guys galvanized to try and get a win for their senior in his final year. All right, there you have it. Army and Colgate in the championship game coming up next on the Patriot League Network on Stadium. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the 2018 Patriot League Men's Soccer Championship. An automatic bid to the NCAA tournament is on the line. It's Army and Colgate here on Stadium. Let's take a look at Russell Payne, year nine for him. So excited to have his guys in the championship for the first time under his watch. And he knows full well that Army is the underdog today, but given the fact that it's Veterans Day only fitting, that a service academy would be playing in the championship game. We'll see what Army has in store for us today. Let's take a look at the Army lineup. Same lineup as we saw the other night. Justin Stoll in net. Zane Rojas, a big part of that defensive back. Zach McGraw, big time player as well. Oscar Pereira, first career postseason point the other night. And then Keenan O'Shea, we told you all about him. Look out for Ibrahim Say as well. He had the game winning PK against BU. On the other side for Colgate, Eric Ronning is the head coach. You're number 14 for him. Been there, done that in the Patriot League Championship. He has five on his own. Looking to go for his third straight title and cement the status of a dynasty here in Baltimore, Maryland. Here's the starting lineup today for the Colgate Raiders. As we told you, no arm a legion. And that means a couple other guys are going to have to step up. Kian Alberto, number five in the middle there as well as Tim Oberg, number 24. Those are a couple of guys that Eric Ronning told us definitely need to be in a big time place today. And for Colgate, this is a significant game as well because they have an opportunity to win their eighth Patriot League championship. And that would be the best mark in the entire conference. Let's take a look right now. Colgate and Lafayette tied at seven. Army had a great run in the early 90s. They've won three. And most importantly, Colgate has gone back to back There's a the number five seed Army geared up for this one. First time they're back in the championship game since 96. That was also the last time they won it. It's been a long time coming for Russell Payne. And he's ready to see what his guys have here today as we're underway in the championship game with a spot in the NCAA tournament on the line. With Stephen Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith. 
And Steven, it should be an interesting first couple of minutes, given the fact the last few games, Colgate hasn't had the best energy in the first few minutes. Absolutely. I think the energy levels will be high to start today, but definitely some nerves on both sides of the ball. And when we talked to Coach Ronning yesterday, he said, listen, besides those first few minutes, our guys played a terrific first half. They had two goals and really just caught, got caught on a throw-in. And he said, you know what, that's a learning lesson for us, and we're going to just make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, they were great for most of that game. Obviously, the first five minutes gave up a goal. But other than that, they were confident. Uh, they attacked with speed, had a lot of good opportunities to score, and then came away with a 2-1 win. So a lot has changed since these two teams met all the way back on September the 29th in Hamilton, New York. Colgate a 3-0 win in that game. That was their first Patriot League win of the season. Colgate 11-4-5 this year. They've won six of their last seven. Colgate with it here in the offensive zone. As that one's cleared away by Army. Colgate outshot Army 17-4 in that game. 6-1 with shots on goal. Abdel Sinogo, who we'll see a little bit later, a hat trick in that game, his only three goals of the year. Here comes Zach McGraw for the ball. Trying to clear it out of the zone, but Janssen's there to keep it in. Now DeLeo in the corner. And Colgate active so far on the offensive side. Yeah, does well to earn the corner there. Earlier in the season when, when Army lost 3-0 to this Colgate. Um, he's going to be there. He's going to be there in the middle of the field there, uh, looking to head every ball out. He's a force and a, just a specimen athletically. And a big storyline for Colgate in that semifinal. Nine first half corner kicks. Loyola actually had 12 corner kicks against Army. Janssen sends it in, looking back post. And that feed for Kingsley just a little bit too far wide. And this one will stay here with Colgate. And now the call's overturned. There's Pereira right there. Had a great freshman year. A big time assist in the 82nd minute in that Friday semifinal. So how about Army 8, 9, and 2 this year? They were 4 and 5 in the Patriot League. And Steven, basically Coach Payne telling us the playoffs for them started a couple weeks ago because they had to beat American, had to get a little help from Navy beating Bucknell, just even be in this tournament. They win in PKs, they pull off the upset. And it's anybody's game now once you're in the championship. Absolutely. And, and you start to think maybe they're a team of destiny like this Colgate team from last year. Barely squeaking into the postseason, then upsetting uh, BU in penalties, and then upsetting Loyola uh, on Friday night. Colgate in the home whites as the top remaining seed, the number three seed. Army in the road blacks as the number five seed. Commissioner lost that one. Oliver Harris battling for it. And now Army coming the other way. O'Shea in the middle. Cross in front. That one popped back out. Should be interesting to see how this Colgate defense does without the Patriot League Defender of the Year, Arma Legion, today. Say in the corner keeps it in. And that one flies out. And Stephen, when we talked to Coach Ronning, Tim Oberg has been such an important guy. He's played so many big time minutes. Coach Ronning called him a warrior. They're used to this mix with Alberto, with Oberg. Doesn't change too much, but still missing a big guy in the middle there. Absolutely. Can't replace Army Legion. Can only try. And Oberg's definitely going to do his, his part today. Army gets a corner early in the first half on the header. And that one's knocked away. Nice job there by the Colgate defense. Morrison coming the other way, the junior from Tokyo. Pushes it through for Janssen. Janssen flips it ahead. And cleared out there by Army. Yeah, Oberg's a guy who's played, he's played in the outside, uh, as an outside back, he's played in the center of the field um, as a midfielder, but now he has a task of uh, shutting down Keenan O'Shea as a center back. We'll get a whistle here. First one of the game. John McCloskey, our referee today. Assistant referee Ben Pilgrim. And Jeffrey Gonsarek. Colgate has never lost a Patriot League championship. 6-0-1. Alberto with an early set piece opportunity.
Justin Stoll was huge in that the other night. Alberto flips it in. McGraw got a head on it there. And it pops out of the box. One of the big storylines from that win on Friday for Army was just the way their defense played against probably the best offense all year long in Loyola. Yeah, Loyola didn't have too many great opportunities. Justin Stoll came up huge at the beginning of the second half with a set-piece save. But other than that, Loyola was really stifled offensively. And it's because of this Army defense. They get so compact. They get so much ball side. It's really hard to break them down. Johnson making some moves into the zone. And it trickles through for a goal. Colgate on top, one to nothing, thanks to Steven DeLeo. What a start there from Colgate. I think uh, the Army defender there was a little bit slow, a little bit hesitant to step to that ball. DeLeo sees the opportunity, steps in, and, and pokes it past Stoll for the goal. Started with Janssen off the deflection. There's DeLeo, got the foot on it, and Stoll couldn't do anything about it. Third goal of the year for Steven DeLeo and a huge one here in the Patriot League Championship. Yeah, dream start, exact opposite of the game against Lehigh. Now they're up 1-0, five minutes into the game. DeLeo had goals against Denver and Boston U. And he gets the first one here in the sixth minute to give the number three seed a 1-0 lead. It'll really be interesting to see how this Army team has to change. Against BU, didn't, go, didn't give up a goal. Against Loyola, didn't give up a goal. They're not used to playing from behind. They're not great, I would say, at coming from behind in games. So they're going to have to come out of their shell a little bit. Can't just be defensive. They're going to have to attack. Kingy swept that one right out of bounds. They'll go back to Army. When we talked to Coach Ronning, he said, listen, three games in one week. We're going to have to be the mentally tougher team. We're going to see who steps up. There's a guy in Steven DeLeo who's played in so many of these championships the last couple of years, right place, right time. Yeah, senior, he's a great player. He's scored some big goals for Colgate over the years. Another one there. And that's the first goal that Army has let up in the entire tournament. That's how good their defense has been. Went to double OT against Boston U, clean sheet. Clean sheet against the number one seed. Less than 10 minutes in, they finally give up a goal. Coach Russell Payne for Army told us it was never the goal just to qualify. It was the goal to be the last team standing. Having to sneak into the tournament, being a losing team in conference, it hasn't mattered. And down one nothing early just adds to that story. This one bounds ahead for Janssen. Petro pokes it ahead. You go back in the history of the Patriot League Championship, you go back to 1992, an absolute classic between these two teams. Colgate, Colgate pulled out a one to nothing win in double overtime. And Army was really the team of the early 90s. They won in 91 against Lehigh for nothing. Lost in 92, won in 93, lost in 94. And then they won in 96, like we told you, and they haven't been back since. And so, Stephen, you won a couple of those Colgate titles in the middle. Certainly a special thing to be playing in a moment like this. And how much different is it actually compared to, you know, just another regular season game? Oh, it's so different. Obviously, the pressure's high, but that's what you play for. Uh, and obviously, a chance to play in the NCAA tournament. That was always huge for us, always huge. And, and now, Colby proved last year, it's not just playing in the NCAA tournament. It's winning games in the NCAA tournament. So, Patriot League's on the map. Um, Colby really is hoping they can get back there. Obviously, Army's hoping they can get, get there for the first time in 20-some years. Second corner of the half for the Black Knights. And this one sails out. That was off the right foot of O'Shea, and that was one of the things we talked about the other night as well, having your best goal scorer giving those corner kicks. Yeah, and I think some of these teams, some of these, uh, their best set piece taker is their best goal scorer. Right. So, you know, they're, they're obviously good on the ball. They can hit a shot. They can hit a service. So a lot of times you're pulling your best player out of the box because they are the best on, on these set pieces. Harris got a lot of air under that one. McGraw plays it back forward. Oh. 
Raiders have been active on the offensive side so far. Kingy chasing after that one. And McGraw knocks it away. This Colgate team is great when they're in the lead. They love to possess the ball. They love to set the tempo of the play. Now with a one nothing lead, Army's going to have to step out of their shell a little bit and come press Colgate. Turnover here. Here come the Black Knights. Big ball ahead. And too far there for Say. That was off the foot of Zane Rojas, junior from Orange, California. Rojas, a part of that defensive backfield that's really been great so far this tournament. McGraw, Hebbard, Knockin. McGraw, the leader, but Coach Payne telling us strength in numbers for those guys and the way that they play together defensively. Yeah, absolutely. They're de definitely finding themselves throughout this tournament. Um, obviously, tough first couple minutes here, but they're really organized defensively. They get really compact, and that's all led by McGraw. Usually, it's, it's the center back, one of the center backs who leads that back line, um, the leader of the team, and, and that's where Colgate might struggle a little bit because uh, Aram Aligian, Defender of the Year, second time in a row, he's not out there. So now who's going to step up? Who's going to communicate when to step, when to drop? It's really difficult sometimes with, a, uh, with four players who haven't played together. Eric Ronning saying after that game on Friday, really an unfortunate thing that happened to Aram, but just the next man mentality. Somebody else has to step up. We saw it with Tim Oberg dropping back so far. And the crazy thing is for Aligian is that he has started every single game since his freshman year. He has never missed a game. This is the biggest game of his senior year, and he's missing this one. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. That's how it goes sometimes. And, and I think he needed to make the foul. So uh, he did it for the team. The team hopefully will step up for him and, and get them to the NCAA tournament. One of the guys replacing him today, that was Alberto, right near the sideline there. In front of a group full of cadets, too, which is awesome to see making the trip from West Point here on Veterans Day. Thank you to all the men and women that serve our country and have served. And that's really one of the most special things about the Army program is that whether it's the guys on the team or Russell Payne, it's, it's much bigger than just soccer. And it's a different type of kid at Army or Navy. And even Coach Payne saying, listen, it would be amazing to win a Patriot League championship, but it's about doing it for everybody else associated with the school, not just for the guys on this team. So certainly a lot riding on this game in this stadium and outside the stadium for the Army Black Knights. Morrison keeps this one in and then sent away. Off the head of Say. DeLeo plays it forward. But nobody home there for the Raiders. Eric Ronning wanted energy. He certainly has gotten it here inside of 15 minutes of this first half. Yeah, a great start for Colgate. Obviously, not just the goal, but the way they're pressing the ball, the way they're attacking. Here comes Say. And knocked away there by Oberg. Good counter, good ball in behind. Definitely threatening there for Army. Now they get a corner kick on the play. Um, Army's dangerous. They're dangerous on set pieces. It's where they look to score a lot of their goals. So Colby needs to do a better job of limiting the number of set pieces they give up today. Army didn't have a single corner kick in their semifinal win. This is their third corner in the first 15 minutes. Keenan O'Shea, the leading goal scorer in the Patriot League. Let's it rip. Redirected in front. Pereira got a hit on it for a moment. And the Colgate defense stands tall. Morrison comes away with it. Morrison sends this one ahead. DeLeo already with a goal in the game. Heppard all over him. And the Black Knights get it right back. Pereira pushes it through. Here comes Pereira. Across it goes. Right outside the box, here's a rip. And that one not even close. Unlucky there. Army does a good job. Takaki builds up, tries to have something from outside the box, doesn't see anything, plays it back. 
for a one-time shot. Just a little bit uh, difficult from that angle, from that distance, but better from Army. They definitely have had a little bit better play so far as far as uh, when, the, when they played on Friday night against Loyola, didn't really have much of the ball. So it's, it's a good start here from Army other than being down the goal. A Colgate back line that ranked 13th in the nation in the regular season in goals against average and 20th in the country in shutout percentage. So far, 15 minutes in, Army three corners, so just one for Colgate. Each team with a shot. Colgate with that one shot on goal, and Army two fouls to none for Colgate. Big time takedown right in the middle of the field. Foul goes against McGraw. There's Harris, he was the main man in that win on Friday. Two goals for him, and Stephen, the wild thing is that he only had three goals the entire season. That was his first career multi-goal game, but for a guy that had a dad that played at Colgate, Oliver Harris is just a big time player, and he stepped up the last couple years. Yeah, Colgate was really needing somebody to step up. We said last uh, on Friday night, who's, where are the goals gonna come from? Who's gonna score? And he really stepped up, has two, had two last night, or on Friday night, sorry, and, and he's getting hot at the right time for Colgate. Say slips by Oberg. O'Shea's going to get a touch here. Leaves it off for Takaki. Takaki lets it rip. Beautiful save from Harris. Great effort there by Takaki, trying to get it near post. Here's a player who played for the U.S. Youth National Team. Let's take a look here. Great turn. Gets it on his left foot, tries to sneak it near post. Good save by Harris, but Takaki is a very capable player, very very skilled, very crafty, um, can hit you at any time. Takaki just one goal in the season that came against San Diego State all the way back at the beginning of the year. Morrison wins the battle here. Say taken down. And foul called there on Colgate. There's Russell Payne. His guy's the underdogs coming into this one and down a goal in the 17th minute. Morrison lost the footing there. He had the game winner against American. And Stephen, we talked about the fact that Army wasn't expected to be here. You go back for that game against Colgate, they're down two goals in the first half of the quarterfinal. And they have a thing about coming back from two goals, whether it's the NCAA tournament last year, Patriot League tournament this year. Just an incredibly gutsy win just to even be in this tournament at this stage. Absolutely. And, and I don't know if they've made a habit of it over the past couple of years, but they've definitely, they're definitely capable of coming back. Um, they'd rather not have to, but what a performance, what a comeback win after the, going down 2-0 in that game. But it was all sparked by number five, Kian Alberto. Great goal at the end of the first half to get him back to within one. And then uh, the man who can't play today, Arm Legion, tied it up late in the game. And, and Morrison, who's been incredible through this whole run, uh, finished it off a minute, about a minute into overtime. So just a great comeback for Colgate uh, just to even be here. Takaki with speed. He's been active so far in this first half. Kingy got it for the moment. Played across. Pereira tracks it down. And that one scoots out. Colgate will get it back. Yeah, really good defending there by Bell Vance. Doesn't let him get to the end line. Just shields it out for a goal kick. For the latest Patriot League news and information, follow the official Patriot League account on Twitter, at Patriot League. With Stephen Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith, former Patriot League tournament MVP, Stephen okay. Miller. It's been a good one so far. Steven, of the championships you won at Colgate, which one still sticks with you the most? Yeah, I think it had to be that last one. Um, just because my fifth year, my last uh, last opportunity, and just the way we got there. It wasn't, wasn't the prettiest start to our Patriot League season, but um, ended up coming in second and, and uh, went to penalties in the semifinal against Lehigh, of course, and then uh, beat American on their home field. But just to end my career that way was, was special. Nearly a great opportunity right there for Colgate. Instead, played the other way. And this has been a fun matchup so far. Say and Oberg. Coach Ronan calling Oberg just an absolute warrior. And he's certainly shown it so far in this tournament. 
Yeah, they really need him to step up to, to try to replace Allegian. It's going to be tough for him, but he's done so well. He's done well so far this game. There's your former coach right there, Eric Ronnie. One of the really interesting things about these Colgate teams the last couple of years, it, it really doesn't matter where they're at in the Patriot League standings during the regular season. They get hot at the right time. They execute in the postseason. And, you know, Coach Ronning's saying, listen, it comes down to experience. But do you find it a little something more maybe for the Colgate guys just in terms of finding ways to win no matter what the circumstances? Yeah, I think Coach Ronning does a really good job of stressing the little details throughout the season. Maybe they're not affected as much during the regular season where, where one mistake might not kill you. But his guys know that in the playoffs, in the tournament, one mistake is going to affect you. And so there's little details that make the big differences, and he does a great job all year long stressing that. And I think that's kind of what has put them um, over the edge the past couple years in the tournament. There's Harris dancing around a couple defenders looking for DiPietro and flipped out of play there. And Ronning also telling us, listen, as coaches, we put our players in the best situations to succeed, but the players are the ones with the innate ability to step up at the end of the day. Kingy on the throw in. Played out for Alberto. Now back for Clark. Clark, first team all Patriot League, three time all academic. Junior from Houston, Texas, big part of that defense. Army gets it here on the throw in. What needs to change for Army right now? 22nd minute. Yeah, I just think they need to get do a better job of getting the ball higher up the field and holding on to it, keeping possession. Good job here by Say. Um, he needs to be a better target forward just to hold the ball up so they can build some sort of offense, some sort of attack. Sixth championship appearance in school history for the Army Black Knights. Say plays this one across. Colgate does the job once again. Rojas tried to keep it in. Yeah, as we saw on Friday, this Army team is built on defending and then countering. But they'll play direct. They'll play bigger balls. If they can't win that first ball, they need to step higher up the field with their midfielders, win the second ball, and attack from there. Russell Payne's squad has... And that's the difference right now in our championship game. See it right there. Just remarkable what Russell Payne has done. Former assistant in Maryland. Guy that spent a lot of time around one of the top programs in the country. Has built the program out here at Army and obviously a difficult recruiting situation given a certain type of kid that's going to come to Army or Navy. And yet here they are despite all those things. The obstacles they've faced through the season, they have just never said die. And even down one nothing right now, it's it's really nothing new for them. Yeah, he's just done a great job since he's been on, been at West Point, just keeping them competitive. They're always a tough team to play against no matter what. They're disciplined, uh, they're strong, they're tough, they're athletic. And, and as we saw against Loyola, they're dangerous as well. Payne, by the way, a Columbia, Maryland native, just right down the road from us here in Baltimore, Maryland. So this will be a corner here for the Colgate Raiders, already leading one to nothing. Janssen, right into the middle there. Pop back in. McGraw, the biggest man back there with a header. And then cleared away. One of the things about Russell Payne, he's a man of few words, very calm and collected on the sideline. Even when Army was up 1-0 against Loyola, didn't change his reaction. And I really think there's something to having a stoic coach there just to make sure everybody on the field knows, let's just treat this like a normal situation. Yeah, I really think that a team kind of takes on the personality of the head coach and, and they never feel like they're out of a game. They never you know, get too, too up, too down. Um, do a really good job of, of staying mentally focused throughout a game. Here's the captain, Tim Oberg, trying to get that one to Janssen.
Army will bring it back. Pereira, far side. The peach are on his case. And we'll get a whistle here. Army switched it up a little bit from game against Loyola. Pereira is playing on the left. Um, Takaki's playing on the right. So I don't know if that's a matchup thing. Maybe they think Takaki can take on Kingy out here on the on the flank, but um, just something to look at because uh, Pereira had the assist from the right flank, uh, game-winning assist against Loyola on Friday. Russell Payne telling us this is a very well-connected group. They know each other's strengths. They know each other's weaknesses, and he knows the challenge that his team faces today. Saying Colgate has no deficiencies. They're very experienced. And there's a reason why they're the back-to-back -back champs. And they certainly have shown it here in the first half. This ball played ahead for Harris. Onside. Harris tracks it down. Nice poke there by McGraw. It'll stay with the Raiders. Steven, you mentioned it before. McGraw didn't play in that game back in September. What do you like about his game the most back there? You know, he, he's a leader, he's an organizer, but he's also, he, he's a beast. He wins every ball in the air. Uh, Coach Ronning said he's, he's arguably the best defender in the league. Um, but he can also play. Um, but, but the group looks to him for their leadership. Steven Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith. Automatic bid in the NCAA tournament on the line here in Baltimore, Maryland. Colgate looking for its third straight championship. Army trying to win its first Patriot League title since 1996. Stoll gets that one over the midline. Pinballed around and Colgate has it. Kingy, the freshman from Bethesda, Maryland. Really good decision by Kingy to not force the ball forwards. Played around the back. Uh, tough ball there by Clark, though. Costly turnover. Just unnecessary, unforced error. Here comes Say, looking for a man and nobody home. And we have a man down on the far side there. Looks like that's Oscar Pereira, the freshman. Started 17 games this year for the Black Knights. Clock stops for injuries. And the New York native is going to walk off under his own power. Let's see how this happened here. Oh, it was off the ball, actually. I didn't see exactly what happened. Bell Vance may have just clipped him uh, trying to recover back inside. It was Pereira off that throw-in against Loyola. Had the big-time cross, found O'Shea. Yeah, O'Shea's a guy that's been quiet, but as we saw on Friday, it doesn't take much for him to get on the board. I'd like to see him get more touches on the ball, a little bit higher up the field, a little bit more central, so he can be creative, he can be explosive, and, and get a couple shots on goal, get his confidence up. But, you know, he is a guy that can strike at any time. And it's really amazing how Colgate defense can neutralize the top player. I mean, think back to what Mark Forrest was dealing with. Forrest, your two-time offensive player of the year in the Patriot League, one shot in the semifinal. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know, it's going to be a little bit more difficult today without Aram Luigian. But right now they have him bottled up. They have O'Shea bottled up. Colgate in control so far in this first half of the championship game. Harris trying to keep it in. And that one knocked off of Takaki. Kingy on the throw in. McGraw changes the field. Er Oberg will do the same. And it scoots out.
Stoll plays it ahead. Let's see if Army can get something going here. O'Shea finally gets a touch. A lot of pushing and grabbing there. Yeah, that's great defending by, by Kingy. Keeping O'Shea in front of him, wins the ball, and earns the foul. The great news for Colgate is Kingy is just a freshman, so you won't have a Legion after this year. Oberg will graduate. Bellavance, senior. We got Clark coming back. Kingy, they just keep churning them out in Hamilton, New York. Yeah, yeah. Obviously a ton of seniors on this team, a lot of veterans, but Coach Ronnie does a great job recruiting and keeps bringing in great classes. And just amazing to think what this senior group has done. They've won almost 50 games during their time as Colgate Raiders. They obviously made the run to the Sweet 16 last year. An opportunity to get back to the dance again. Yeah, this has definitely been the most successful class in Colgate history. Like you said, 50 wins and, and making that run to the Sweet 16, but number of wins and, and just the quality of player that's come through this class, it's, it's been unbelievable. 30th minute, Colgate with a one nothing lead here in the championship game. And at this point, Stephen, Colgate with that one shot, one goal, that's it. Army, seven shots, only one on goal. Army, four fouls, Colgate just one. And Army with three corners to just two for Colgate. Yeah, this game's been played between the 18s. Not too much you know, on either end, but Bowie took advantage of their chance. Morrison tripped up. Looks like we're going to get a yellow card here. McGraw getting a talking to in the 31st minute. The ball and it clips him. Unlucky, just probably incidental contact, but definitely, definitely a foul there. Five fouls for Army in this first half, just one for Colgate. Here's the freshman, Alberto. Deep in the box, and that header flies out. Trying to set up Clark there. And we'll get our first substitution of the game. That's Sam Milliken, number 24. Freshman, six foot one from Chapel Hill. We saw him in the game the other night. There's Justin Stoll, he's been great. Coach Payne saying one of the elite goalkeepers in the entire conference and just one little hiccup there in the first few minutes and in a game of this magnitude it most certainly can make the difference. Yeah, I mean how many games have we seen in the Patriot League over the years that have been one nothing finals. Uh, tough, tough one. I don't think there's anything you could do about it, but you know, he's part of the reason, big part of the reason that they're here today. Uh, again, go back to that semifinal game against Loyola, beginning in the second half, he had an unbelievable save to keep it 0-0 beginning in the second half off a set piece. So you know, he'll find it. Um, he'll be asked to, to make more saves today, for sure, but uh, he's going to have to stay big and, and uh, stay strong so it keeps this game at a one-goal game. O'Shea gets a foot on that one. Played out wide for Pereira, doing just fine after the injury a couple minutes ago. Here comes Pereira. Takaki. Whips it across. Looking for Say. Bellavance is right there, though. And a nice job by the senior Bellavance to keep Say from even touching that one. Yeah, it was good build up by Army, though. You know, got to a good spot. You'd like to see them have a little bit more creativity when they get into that attacking third, maybe slip a ball in behind. But, you know, they are a direct team. They look for those knockdowns off, off the second balls. Janssen was looking for that foul to go against Army. Instead, it's called against him. Here's Morgan Hebbard, freshman, six foot two from Irvine, California. One of the guys in that back line who's really stepped up for Army the last couple of weeks. And a nice chance here for the Black Knights in the 33rd minute.
This one played forward. Oberg. Morrison tried to keep that one in and could not. So it was right around this area that Army scored in the 82nd minute in that semifinal. This Milliken's going to pop in here for say. Now on three for Army West Point. Number 24, Sam Milliken. Rojas on the throw in. Pereira tried to go bicycle, fell down, and whipped out of play. Army's knocking on the door, Stephen, but just nothing quite close yet. Yeah, yeah, but they've done a good job getting possession a little bit higher up the field. They can get numbers in the box, so you know, keep looking, keep looking for them to get service into the box and get those numbers in the box for for a finish. Another throw in from Rojas. This Colgate team's doing a really good job defending though. It's gonna take something special to beat them. Another throw in for Army. Alberto plays it away. Headed back over the midline there. Takaki gets control. Now it's Harris. Here comes the senior, leaving it off for Morrison. Morrison gets by his man. Morrison in deep. Morrison. Morrison gets by his man. Morrison in deep. And nobody there for the crosser. Army trying to counter. Right back to Harris. DePietro leaves it off. Here comes Harris. And McGraw's there. And now sends it off with a big left foot. Ooh, Takaki taken down at midfield. That was Milliken, actually, excuse me. These referees have been active so far in this first yeah, half. Yeah, I was, I was expecting a card there, to be honest. Um, doesn't give it, just gets to talking to, but Oberg, that's what he does. He steps in hard, he challenges hard, he looks to win the ball, and, and he's been a good, he's been a very, very good, solid replacement so far for Allegiant. There's the play again. Yeah, just comes through him. And I, I think it probably should have been a card. He was, he was one of the last, one, last men back, but he was beat. American University serves as the host of the 2018 Patriot League Women's Volleyball Championship starting with the semifinals on Saturday, November 17th. The championship game coming up on the 18th. All contests available on the Patriot League Network. You can check out PatriotLeague.com for more details. Living between the 18s here in the first half with Colgate up 1-0. There's Ryan Bellavance. Had a goal against Holy Cross earlier in the year. Oberg with a big boot. Remember the big storyline in this game, Armalegi and Patriot League Defender of the Year. Senior who started every game of his career, a red card late in the semifinal win against Lehigh. Not allowed to play for this game. Turnover. Here's Morrison. Morrison taken down. Wow. I don't know about that one. Love to see that again. But Morrison picks, picks McGraw's pocket here. We'll, we'll take a look. Picks his pocket, gets into the box. Yeah, it may have been clipped, maybe not. He went down a little bit easy. Tough to give that as a penalty uh, at this point in the game. We got that incidental contact before McGraw was called for it. You know, these calls in, in a game of this magnitude can 
really sway things. Yeah, absolutely. And, and like you said, incidental contact, you're probably not going to want to just get a card for, for talking or didn't really see that one. But yeah, you're not going to want to, ref's not going to want to change this game by giving a penalty that might be questionable. That's going to go against Morrison. He was John all the way back after that one. Starting to get real interesting here in the 38th minute. It's a yellow on Kentaro Morrison Jr. Number seven, number Abdel Sonogo checks in for Colgate. Three goals this year. All three of those goals came against Army back in September. First hat trick for a Colgate player since 2016, by the way. Clark with a rocket there. Lescano also in the game for the first time. So Eric Ronan getting some fresh blood here, the latter part of the first half. Here's O'Shea, he's been quiet so far. Finally with some breathing room though. O'Shea dancing all the way across. Alberto comes away with it. Yeah, once again, you see O'Shea getting the ball on a touch line, though. He'd love to see him get the ball central around the hole where it can be impactful, but, you know, he wants to, he wants to get touches on the ball. And, and a player that's that good needs to touch the ball as much as possible, but you'd love to see him higher up the field, closer to goal. Rojas took a spill on the far side. There are the numbers for O'Shea. First player in a couple of years for Army to be in double-digit goals. Best by far in the Patriot League, and... Russell Payne telling us earlier this week he has never seen a player work harder than Keaton O'Shea. And that is saying something given the quality of player that comes to Army, the guys that he coached up as an assistant in Maryland. O'Shea just a different cat, and it's certainly worked out for him in his senior campaign. Colgate on the corner, trying to go near post there. Oberg just outside the box. And Army able to clear it out of the box. Petra at the touch line. Milliken giving chase. And we'll get a whistle. This one against the freshman Milliken. Just a couple minutes remaining in this first half. Kogi trying to add another one. Army trying to get back into it. Yeah, this is better here by Colgate. Just keeping possession, being patient. They don't need to force anything. They got to pull Army out of position so that they can play through them a little bit. Harris with space. Plays it ahead. So no go. Yeah, nice job there by the Army defense. Grayson Knockin, senior from Scottsdale, the captain right there. Knockin, a third team All Patriot League member this year. And now Stoll lets it rip. Colgate still with only one shot. That's all they've needed. The only goal of the game for the Raiders, thanks to the senior Stephen DeLeo in that first 10 minutes of the game. Stephen DeLeo, by the way, has had two game-winning goals. November 2nd against Boston, that was on senior day. Then you go back to 2017, he actually had the game winner against Loyola in the Patriot League semis. Yep, right on this field. He likes playing here in Baltimore. Set piece opportunity here in the 42nd minute. Army looking for the equalizer. O'Shea plays it in. And Harris plucks it out of the sky. Yeah, ball needs to be driven a little bit more, maybe whipped in, but ball that's floated up there for a big keeper like Harris, it's going to be easy for him. Harris, six foot four from Brookline, Mass. Third team all Patriot League this year. Saving 80% of his shots. 
He's big time between the pipes. Rojas plays it forward. Milliken trying to get it to O'Shea, but Oberg was there to meet him. And Colgate will get a throw in here. Edward Bass, number 12, mixing it up against the Army defense. Sonogo gets it stripped. There's Bass. Again, 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 again. Hey. Now it's Harris. Kingy near the byline. And O'Shea sends that one away. Under two to go in this first half. Good ball movement here from the Raiders. Sent in and stalls there. Great little build up, great combination to get a service off there. And, and you know, difficult to finish that one, but it's better from Colgate. They were patient, they switched the ball from one side to the other. Now they're starting to pull Army out of position a little bit, and now they're able to play through, and, and eventually they'll hopefully be able to play in behind to create a couple more better goal scoring opportunities. That was Bell Advance, the defender there with the chance. Yeah, with good possession, it allowed you to get your outside backs forward. First half has belonged to Colgate. And one of the things that Eric Ronning told us is who's going to control the tempo? Who's going to grind it out? So far, it's been Colgate for the first 44 minutes. Yeah, like we said, not too many goal scoring opportunities, but they're a team that, you know, based on controlling tempo, and they've done that so far. Lescano plays this one right to the goalkeeper, Stoll. Under a minute remains in the first half. Automatic bid to the NCAA tournament for the winner of this one. Ten seconds of the half. They'll let this one wind out. Colgate played the half that they wanted. And it's number three seed with a one to nothing lead over the number five seed Army at the end of 45 minutes. Coming up at halftime, we'll join Morgan Uber as she goes around the Patriot League to take a look at all the fall season's conference champions, plus first half highlights, stats, and more. It's all coming up next right here on stadium. Picture perfect afternoon in Baltimore, Maryland, and a picture perfect first half for Colgate, leading one to nothing against the Army Black Knights. With Stephen Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith. Let's take a look back at those first half highlights. And Stephen, Colgate got started early. What happened here? Yeah, Freddie Johnson does really well, win the ball, plays the ball in, gets deflected, and Stephen DeLeo just steps in, and beats his man to the spot, pokes it in for the goal. Stephen DeLeo, his third goal of the year. We told you before, he had the game-winning goal in the semifinal last year. Another senior, two-time champ. You need guys like that in a game like this. Let's take a look at those first half stats. And for Army, three shots compared to just one on goal. Colgate, they had the two shots on goal. The one goal, the difference, one yellow card for Colgate. Three corners each side. First goal allowed by Army in the Patriot League tournament. Their defense have been great. But that one blunder, the difference right now. Yeah, it's a little bit unlucky. The ball just got deflected, pokes through, and DeLeo first one to the spot. But really good job, staying, staying focused, heads up play to poke it in. There are the Colgate Raiders, 45 minutes away from another trip to the NCAA tournament, another Patriot League championship. Certainly a lot of soccer remains for them. So what's most important for Colgate in the second half? Yeah, just stay the course. You know, Army hasn't really threatened them at all offensively. So Colgate needs to keep possession, keep moving Army out of position. At some point, Army needs to step out and press, uh, press Colgate in this game. So once that happens, then there will be opportunities for Colgate to attack and get that second goal. But they can't just sit in. They need to keep going. They can't just absorb pressure the rest of this half. 
Let's take a look back at the champions from the last five years of this Patriot League tournament. Navy in 2013, the last number one seed to win. Bucknell in 2014, Lehigh in 2015, Colgate in 16 and 17. Looking to have that championship trophy back in Hamilton, New York. But pretty wild to think that a number one hasn't won in five years. Yeah, it's difficult as a number one seed. You can always feel that pressure hosting the tournament. You know, we've done so well throughout the regular season. And then all that pressure comes mounting come tournament time. Colgate with more Patriot League tournament appearances than any other school in the conference. And no team has ever won three straight titles. So it would be history here today in Baltimore, Maryland. Colgate has won the last two. And a three-peat would really put this program on an even bigger level. Absolutely. I think the first two obviously put Colgate on the map, but three in a row, that's going to be great for everybody. You know, great for recruiting. Guys are going to want to see what go to Colgate and say, I want to play for this team. And away we go here in the second half. So we talked about Colgate. What does Army need to do differently? Because you said throughout the first half, they're not much of an attacking team. How do they change that here in the second half? Yeah, I think, you know, they are, they are direct. They're a direct team. They knock the ball forward. Their midfielders need to get higher up the field. They need to support their, their two forwards up top. And then once the, you know, balls bounce out for second balls, that's where they win and attack from there. They're not going to build out. They're not going to attack from the back. You play big, maybe you don't win that first one, you win the second one, and you attack from there. An interesting note here to start the second half. There is no Freddie Janssen on the field right now. Instead, it's Umi Umbaragbe, along with Abdel Sinogo. So a little bit of a different look here from Colgate to start the second. Oberg climbed over Ibrahim Say to get that ball. Morrison ahead for Omaragbe, senior from Albany, New York. A goal and an assist this year. Only goal of the game came in the sixth minute for Colgate. Third of the year for Steven DeLeo, off the assist from Freddie Janssen. Ebert plays it back. Here's McGraw with plenty of space. Senior in what could be his last game as an Army Black Knight. Good ball movement here from Army. It's Rojas. Over it goes for Pereira. Bellavan's right there, though. Morrison met at the midline. Nice job there by Nakin. Bellavan's on the throw in. Omaragbe trying to win the battle. Lost his footing, and Army gets it back. Takaki plays it forward. O'Shea with a big cross for Pereira. Pereira, nice moves here from the freshman. Not a great pass, though. It's going back to Colgate. Yeah, when you get in a position to attack like that, you need to be a little bit sharper. You need to connect that pass. You're in a good spot to go forward and attack but just a little bit soft on that ball. Colgate won the only meeting of the year between these two teams. Three to nothing affair up in Hamilton, New York. 18 different guys played for Army in that game. I mean, everybody got a shot there. A little bit different here today. But yeah. how much does that factor in? You already know that you beat this team. You know, Colgate coming into this, maybe expecting a Loyola or a different team. How much does that actually factor into your mindset? Yeah, I mean, I actually think it doesn't too much. Major League Final, anything can happen, right? Everybody knows that. It's actually, and it's very difficult to beat a team two times in the same season. Very true, and Russell Payne right there, he knows he's got a big time task right now in these next 40 plus minutes. Knocking will send this one off.
Takaki tracks it down. Finds O'Shea. Clark right on his case, though. Back in September. And played back for Harris. Clark has been solid just this whole tournament. And he kind of doesn't get that much recognition just because he's playing alongside RM Allegiant. But he's been so, so good, so steady, uh, so confident on the ball. Just a great player. And, and obviously, they need him with Allegiant out today. There's Arm Allegian right there, Patriot League Defender of the Year. Red card against Lehigh. Couldn't play today. Could play if Colgate moves on. And it must be so strange for him just watching this game. Absolutely. Colgate's probably never had a bigger fan. <laughs> And as much as this team wants to win a Patriot League championship, for the seniors, for all the other guys, they just want Arm to get one more game. They were just straight up about that. As, as, as important as it is to get that three-peat, they want Arm to play again. We got some action near the box here. And the call against Army. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. You know, that's a guy that's given everything he's had to this program, really turned this program around. You can take a look here at the, at the foul. Um, there's Oberg in good position, just clip, clip from behind. But going back to Aram, he's such a good player, so big for this program. And, and to not expect to have played possibly your last game, that's tough. So they obviously want to do everything in their power to get him another game. Eric Ronning telling us he has done literally everything you could imagine for this program. Yeah, arguably the best, most successful Colgate soccer player in history. That's saying a lot coming from you. <laughs> this one into the secure arms of Jacob Harris. I thought it was interesting that Eric Ronning told us that the energy of that semifinal got the best of them. They've been so cool today throughout the first half and early on here in the second half, and especially for an experienced team, you wouldn't think necessarily, but still, playing under the lights, rainy night, you're back in the semis, you've won two straight, you're thinking about the three-peat. Energy could certainly get the best of you. And yeah, it absolutely. Did. Pressure, pressure is always on, you know, especially when it's, one, when it's do or die. So. You know, the guy stepped up on Friday night, and they're looking to do it again tonight. Chance in the box there is flipped out by the Colgate defense. And we'll get a whistle here near the touchline. We're going to get a yellow card here. This one will go against Colgate. This is exactly what Colgate needs to prevent. Can't give up silly fouls, give up set pieces. Army's not attacking through their own play. These are going to be their best opportunities to score. Yeah, just just misses him on the challenge. You know, can't can't foul there. 40 yards from goal. Morrison and Alberto right in the mix there. This will be the best opportunity of the afternoon for the Army Black Knights. And that one was against Alberto. O'Shea bends it in, it's blocked. Ball's loose in the box. And it's gonna trickle out. It'll stay here with Army. Didn't get the lift there. Yeah, just bagged it right in the wall, but you know, that's what Army does. They try to pick up those second balls, so even if that first one doesn't work out, you know, they're still gonna be dangerous off those second balls. Rojas, big throw in. Takaki, blocked. Rojas. And out it goes. Big time block by Morrison there to step out. And, and Takaki is teeing that one up off the second ball, following it from distance. And, and great effort from Morrison to step out and block that ball. First time that Army is in this championship game since 1996. Also their last Patriot League title. Right now in a 1-0 hole here at Ridley Athletic Complex in Baltimore, Maryland. Omaragbe finds Alberto. Not a great pass there from Kingy.
Harris flips the field. And offside. McGraw sends it away. We get a late whistle here. And the foul against Army. That was Sunogo, the senior from Texas, that hit the deck. Stay connected with the Patriot League, its member schools, and student athletes through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. See all of our handles right there for all the social media loving. With Stephen Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith, live here in Baltimore, Maryland. Winner of this game will be the champion in the Patriot League. We'll get an automatic spot in the NCAA tournament. Here's Bass, turns the corner. Ball's loose inside. And Army knocks it out of there. Nice play by Hebert. And that's great defending there, emergency defending. He's not there at the spot. Easy tap in on the back post. Kingy upended. No whistle. I think everybody on the field was expecting a whistle there. Clark has been all over O'Shea today. Battle in the corner. Sonogo lost it. Great play from Knockin. There's that forward ball that needs to be connected, right? They play the ball forward, looking for numbers underneath, and they just they turn the ball over right back to Colgate, and now they're defending again. If I'm Army, I'm getting my outside wingers a little bit more narrow so they can pick up some of these second balls inside. And that was one of the things that Eric Ronning talked about. Colgate's ability to win second balls. It's getting physical out there in the second half, Steven. Yeah. I think he lowers his shoulder there. I think it's a <laughs> foul. I don't know. I think Knockin thought he was going to get called there, too. Yeah, everybody just kind of stopped, froze for a second. I mean, you know it from all your years playing soccer. It's interesting what actually gets called and then what doesn't. You know, the things that maybe should, don't. Yeah, I've never had a good referee in any game <laughs> I've ever played. <laughs> Spoken like a true player. Here's Pereira, the freshman, with pace, lets it rip. And right to Harris. Again, just a little bit too far away there, right on the outer edges of the box. Yeah, but it's better, though. It's better. That'll build some confidence going forward in the last 35 minutes or so in this half, which is great for confidence to, to get a shot on goal. Speaking of shots on goal, Keenan O'Shea, the star for Army, did not have a shot on goal, did not have a shot in the first half. He averages over three shots per game, third best in the conference. That's all Colgate defense right yeah, there. Yeah, Clark and Oberg have bottled him up all game, forcing him out wide. When he's getting his touches, it's from the flank. The physicality is certainly going to another level here in the 57th minute. Get a couple of subs to Petro in, number three in white. Make a sub in there as well. That's Jake Burgess, number 13, who checks in. Like this type of play, Steve? Yeah, it comes in a little bit late. It's getting physical, getting a little bit chippy. That's what Army's looking to do, trying to chop this game up, break this game up, and, and score from set piece. And that's a freshman, too, in Pereira going right after Oliver Harris. Definitely a matchup to watch the rest of the game. In case you're just joining us, Colgate a goal in the first 10 minutes off the foot of Steven DeLeo. That is the only goal of the game right now. And the reason why the Raiders could potentially be on their way to their third straight championship here in Baltimore, Maryland. Jacob Harris has played a big part as well. Fending off a couple of early looks from Army. It's really important that he stays focused. When you're not tested often throughout a game, sometimes you know, you're going to be called on for one play, and that one play, you better be ready. Knocking heads it forward. 
The Petro just back in there. Here comes Alberto looking for Bass. Bass shoots and right there is stole. Good little ball in behind. Bass times his run, holds his run up, stays on sides. Take a look, ball in behind, holds his run up, gets on the end of it, just running away from goal. Great defending there by McGraw. Force a soft shot. That one out of play, but it'll stay here with Colgate. Janssen and DeLeo back in. Omarakbe and Bass take a seat. So the bench keeps that level offensively for Colgate. Yeah, it's a big difference in this game. Colgate's got a lot of depth. Army not so much, even though they played 18 players the last time these teams met. The cadets are here. They're trying to get their squad back into it. Seg trying to track this one down. Had that game-winning PK against Boston U this past Tuesday. And just to put in perspective how close it was for Army not even being in this tournament, they had to score two goals in the final 10 minutes against American just to edge out that team and then get some help from Navy in beating Bucknell. Two Keenan O'Shea goals. Who else? Absolutely. Down yep. one nothing late. Less than 10 minutes to go. And they survive. They get into the tournament. They win in PKs. They win in Boston for the first time ever in program history. They've never done that. They take down the number one seed. They go back-to-back -back shutouts for the first time in school history in a tournament. And then here they are, hyped to be in the championship. First 10 minutes, Russell Payne, his guys let a goal in. That's it. Yeah, and you know, it felt like a team of destiny, and it felt great for a while until that first 10 minutes of this game, right? And then, and then things change. So for them, it's all about getting back into this game, somehow figuring out a way to get balls higher up the field with numbers higher up the field. Been a coach's duel so far between Ronning and Payne. Payne coaching in his first Patriot League championship. Ronning coaching in his sixth. Say taken down, and we'll get the whistle. Christian Clark has been perfect today. Finally makes a mistake there. Set piece opportunity in the 61st minute. Army looking for the equalizer. Really need to whip this ball in behind that back line or maybe even drive it to the back post, but don't give Jacob Harris an opportunity to come out and catch this ball. Here's O'Shea. O'Shea plays it in and right into the arms of Harris. Yep, floated up just a little bit too much. Got it goes to DeLeo. Pereira knocked that one out. Going back to the Raiders. Yeah, great job by Prayer to, to stop that counterattack. Gotta say, if Army does find a way to get back into this, those cadets there, they're ready. Yeah, they're, momentum, they're hyped. momentum they're, they're is a real loud. thing. Momentum is absolutely a real thing. They get one opportunity, one, one clean chance. Those cadets are gonna be fired up. Opportunities will come from there. Right now it's all Colgate. Army trying to change that in the 62nd minute. Bird just lost that one. King Yu throw in between the benches. Even here, I'd like to see Pereira get a little bit more narrow so he can affect the play a little bit for Army. Army's last championship, a 4 to 1 win against the Naval Academy. That was in 1996. They beat Lehigh in 91, beat Bucknell 4 to 2. In overtime in 93. In some trouble now, down one nothing. This will be a foul on Colgate going against Janssen. Nice move from Rojas. Across the midline he goes. Oberg there to cut it off. Here's Harris. Quiet game for his standards after the two-goal game on Friday. Still making an impact in many ways for this team. 
Yeah, he's just solid on the ball, solid in possession, really smart player, grabs the ball, switches point of attack. You know, might not show up on the stat sheet, but he's been really effective today. Here comes Colgate the other way. Alberto with numbers. Off the foot of Janssen. Here's DiPietro just outside the box. DiPietro to the corner. Morrison tracks that one down. Kingy leaves it off for Morrison. Through two, makes another man miss. Morrison off the side of the net. That's what Morrison does. He's so good off the dribble, splits two defenders, gets a shot on goal. Unlucky not to have a little bit better hit from there, but he's so dangerous off the dribble. Ibrahim Say will take a seat for Army. How about the a couple, here? Yeah, splits a couple defenders. Quick touch, cuts to his right foot. Just not the best effort from there. Probably wants to go far post. Give your chance, your, your team a chance on the rebound if the keeper makes a save there. Sam Milliken in there right now for Army. Three goals on the year for him. Here's Pereira down the near side. Takaki unable to get there. Army looking to take advantage of the opportunity. Rojas looking for Takaki. Oberg right there. Johnson really soft feet for a big man. A great hold up play there. It's takes it in, controls it, switches the point of attack, and allows for Kogi to get numbers forward in the attack. Here comes Morrison. Kingy inside, deflected, and stole dives to get it. Great build up, but that's how important it is to have a good target forward to hold the ball up. It allows you to get numbers in the attack. They switch the point of attack and, and get a good service and quality opportunity on goal. Coach Payne has just loved what Justin Stoll has done the last three years, called him an elite goalkeeper. That one goal allowed, the only difference right now. Knocking. Looking for Milliken, too much on it. And there's Army again. You know, great opportunity to play a ball forward. Good look. Just need to connect it. Need to break pressure with that first pass to give yourself a chance to, to build some sort of a sustained attack. Oberg across the midline. Looked like it could have been a handball there. No call. And into the first row. For Stephen Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the Patriot League Men's Championship in Baltimore, Maryland. Colgate, your back-to-back -back champ. 1-0 lead in the 66th minute, thanks to the senior Stephen DeLeo, his third goal of the year. Schweikert's going to check back in, number 22 in black and gold. Stephen, when we talked to Russell Payne, he said we need to be the best version of ourselves. How does that change here in the latter half of this game? Yeah, they need to figure out a way to score, right? Best version of themselves is a team that defends, and they attack from their def defense. Now they have to attack, can't rely on their defense. But they need to stay solid at the back. You know, can't give up a second one here, that, that'll likely do it for them. But, you know, they become direct, you need to get numbers up the field, you need to get more of a possession in attacking third. Oche trying to chase this one down. And get that man on the ball a little bit more. Still hasn't had a shot. No, he's been really bottled up. Hasn't had many opportunities. 12 goals this year for Keenan O'Shea. No shots here in the Patriot League Championship. It's all against Loyola, though. All it takes is one second. He can make an impact in the box. DeLeo pushes it ahead. Trying to get that one to Omaragbe. We'll get a corner here. A lot of depth on this Colgate team. You know, a guy like Omar Agbe could be starting in other places. Plays valuable minutes for the Raiders. 
if they're able to advance, it's guys like that can, that can really help you out in an NCAA tournament game. Yeah, when you have this many seniors and this, this many unselfish seniors willing to come off the bench, it's, just, it's so big for the team. Everybody looks to those guys and know you're going to get quality minutes off the bench. Janssen cranks. Clark. Now it's Kingy. DeLeo knocked that one off the defender another corner. This will be a throw in, excuse me. DeLeo goes for the safe throw in. And this one deflected out again. So as we told the Army has struggled offensively today. The Black Knights haven't scored a goal against Colgate since 2016. Three to two loss in the Patriot League quarters. They lost three to nothing earlier this year, as we told you. Lost two to nothing in September of 2017. So it has been multiple years since an Army team has scored against Colgate. Raiders have really had their number the last few years. This one turned back over. Black Knights will get it here as Bellavance couldn't track it down. Yeah, I expect to see a little bit more urgency from this Army team approaching 20 minutes left in this game. They're going to start having them press out a little bit, open up a little bit. Colgate might have some opportunities from that, but Army has to take some chances here going forward. Stoll crosses the midline with the kick. Rojas gets there and sends it out. Colgate has never lost a Patriot League championship game. 6-0-1. One in PKs against American. Bellavance throws it right in in front of those cadets, making a ton of noise. Flipped ahead and out. Yeah, I'd say this is right about the time it starts to get real for Colgate. You know, 20 minutes away from a championship. They need to stay focused, make sure they don't make any silly mistakes in the back. Here's Pereira. Up ahead, O'Shea, trying to make something happen. O'Shea in the middle. There's a shot. Oh, in the side of the net. Biggest opportunity that was Schweiker. Love to have that one back. Yeah, what an opportunity, right? O'Shea does a great job splitting the defenders. And Schweiker has a shot, tries to sneak it near post, just can't get it on frame. Would we'll love to have that one back, but that's Army for you. They have nothing the entire game, and out of nowhere, they can strike. A lot of game still remains. That was the first shot in a while for the Army Black Knights. Yeah, really the first great opportunity of the game for them as well. This one played ahead. And Steven, you think back to that Loyola game. I mean, it had been 50, 60 minutes of nothing offensively for Army. It was a shot similar to that that kind of got things started. So let's see if that will swing things, maybe in an advantage that Army hasn't had necessarily today. Yeah, it just builds confidence. Anytime you can get a good quality look, obviously you'd love to put it away, love to put it on frame, but you get a good quality opportunity like that, it just builds a little bit of confidence for the last 20 minutes of this game. Been an interesting year for Russell Payne in year nine with the Army Black Knights. Losing record in conference. They lost their all Patriot League defender, Zach McGraw, for about a month during Patriot League play. Didn't win a single match against the top half of the Patriot League this year. And they get the job done in PKs on Tuesday against BU. They pull off the shocker of the week in upsetting the number one seed. By the way, first time that Loyola had been shut out since early October. That's how good they had been offensively. Yeah, that's a high-powered attack, and Army just shut them down absolutely that entire game. Matthew Glick, the senior defender in there, making a nice play. Army spending some more time in the offensive zone. Good chase there from Milliken. And Army wins the possession. Yeah, I think Ober got clipped there, just rolling around on the ground, maybe trying to you know, get the, get the team back set defensively so Army can't you know, score when, when Colgate's not ready. 
Senior Captain Tim Oberg. They're calling out for some medical attention. Take a look here. Goes to clear the ball. I think he just comes through a little bit late. Oh, it looks like his ankle rolled yeah, underneath. Right ankle. Yep. Here's it. Great. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Just hits the ball, plants, and it just bends underneath him. That could be a tough loss for Colway at this last 19 minutes or so, 18 minutes. And they're already without this guy right here in Arm Olegian. Remember, it was Oberg who moved back. He was playing midfield for most of the year and walking very gingerly. That could be a huge loss. We'll see how long he's out. But still, even for this throw-in right now, even for this moment here, the 73rd minute, let's see what Eric Ryan decides to do. Yeah, and, and Coach Ronick said that they have a really, really good freshman waiting in the wings. So, you know, when these, when these seniors uh, graduate and um, John Gerard, I don't know if we're going to see him or not, but he's definitely more than capable playing center back for this team. Bellavance is going to be the guy right now. We should note that Will Stroud, who's played a ton this year, he is available. He's, his parents drove him down. He's had mono for the last couple of weeks. Hasn't played soccer in a few weeks, but is available. We'll see if Ronning decides to go with him. But right now, Oberg on the sideline. Olegian out with that red card. Huge opportunity here in the 73rd minute. It's been a busy day for John McCloskey there, our head referee. Rojas, big throw in. McGraw heads it through. And cleared out. Yeah, it's offsides there on the flip. Colgate stands tall. And number three seed with time on its side. Going for the three-peat here in Baltimore, Maryland. Harris sends it away. McGraw was upended. That's a foul on Colgate. McGraw, the junior captain, 6'4", first team all Patriot League this year. He's the leader of that defensive backfield. And Russell Payne, just not enough things to say about him. I mean, he could talk about him all day. Yeah, what a player he's been. Uh, just, uh, he's just a captain, leader, great player. Solid defensively, one of the best defenders in the league. Can't say enough great things about him. Rojas lets it rip. Big opportunity in front. Nobody could get a foot on it. Wow. That was a close opportunity. Jacob Harris does a really good job. When somebody's slashing across the goal like that, he can't commit. So player doesn't touch the ball. That, like a lot of times, that ball ends up skipping past Jacob Harris without a touch. Jacob Harris does a great job reading the path of the ball and, and committing to it and making the save. Look out ahead. Here's Omarag Bay. Obrogbe makes a man miss, lets it fly, and just misses the mark. Great effort there by Obrogbe. Take a look at both opportunities. What a sequence there. Yeah, that's how quickly it can change. Let's see how close Schweiker was here to this ball. Yep, ball driven in, right? Jacob Harris cannot commit to that ball because Schweiker's in the box. This is a really good job of keeping Obrogbe on the other end. Great cut. Has a shot, tries to sneak it near post again. Good opportunity for Colgate. You think about Schweiker at the last 10 or 15 minutes. I mean, here's a freshman playing in his first Patriot League tournament, playing his first Patriot League championship. Two really close opportunities there for him. Yeah, he's been the most active for, uh, attacking player for Army. Knocking at the touch line, plays it through. Knocking, pushes it forward. Harris right there. Army's really starting to press now. Much yeah. different team offensively than we saw yep. in the first half. And they're going to start committing even more numbers forward this last 15 or so. <laughs> Harris gets a lot of air under this one. Gets to DeLeo, the only man to score today. And Army has it here. Rojas looking for Say. Nice positioning there from Kingy. Still no Oberg. Went down with that ankle injury a couple minutes ago. Here comes Alberto. Got a man, it's DeLeo. Here comes the senior. Across for Alberto and it sails high. That could have put this baby on ice in the 76th minute. What an opportunity. Great counterattack of a three on two. Get a great service from DeLeo. Take a look here. Great ball across. 
and Alberto just can't put it on frame. He really needs to go try to go back across the keeper. The keeper's shifting to his right. It's going to be hard for him to plant and push off, get back to his left side. Really love to see him put that on frame there. Stoll drives it all the way down. Stoll comes out of the box to get it. Clark changes course, and Rojas sails it out. And there's still plenty of time left in this game for Army to get back in it. Holvitz actually dropping their back line, I think, a little bit too far, just allowing Army to get a little bit higher up the field. Kingy on the throw-in. And a foul called there on Janssen, hooked him around. Yeah, you can kind of feel the momentum switching a little bit, and Army's having some opportunities, getting some fouls called. They're going to be knocking on the door here. Seen over 20 fouls in this game already. Russell Payne hoping his guys can execute here in the 77th minute. Everybody packed into the box. Hepburn sends it in. Harris coming in. Got a couple hands on it. And Colgate survives again. Replay by Har Harris, and he springs the counterattack. Janssen the other way. Here's Alberto. And he plays it back. Harris, a confident goalkeeper, stepping out there to make a play like that. Yeah, and he almost botched it, to be, to be honest. Yeah. You know. Dropped the first one, but does a really good job to recover and, and start that counter. Here's Alberto, far side. He had the goal that sparked everything against American. Colgate was down 2 nothing late first half. The red card against American totally changed the course of the season for the Raiders of Colgate. Yeah, and it was Keon Alberto who drew the red card as well. So scores that goal, and four minutes later, right at the end of the first half, draws the red card, changed their season. Some thought maybe the red card against Allegian could potentially change the season. So far, it hasn't. In the 79th minute, Colgate up 1 0. Army trying to counter right now. Jacob Harris, the goalkeeper for Colgate, eight shutouts in 2018, had five in 2017. He became the starter halfway through that 2017 season. He has just been brilliant. There he is right there. And he's done the job today for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's been great all tournament, all season. Since he really took over last season, he's, just, he's been a solid keeper. And Coach Ryan has nothing but great things to say about him. Army running out of time here in the Patriot League Championship. Russell Payne remembers, though, they didn't score until those final 10 minutes against Loyola, but a much different game after they stifled that team for a long, long time. But here's their first corner since the first half. Yeah, and they're going to get all their guys forward, get their big men in the box, look to attack this one, try to knock this game up. Keenan O'Shea will set it up. Army wants that equalizer. Now would be the time. Keenan O'Shea is going to go stand on Jacob Harris to try to prevent him from grabbing this ball. O'Shea lets it rip from McGraw. Loose in the box. One timer, too tall. That was Oscar Pereira. Yeah, another great opportunity though. Take a look here. Off the corner kick, ball's coming in. Headed up, second ball, sits up here. And Bali just getting over the bar, but great effort by Army and it's, it's coming. They're mounting something here. Colgate trying to survive. Army trying to tie it. Under 10 to go in the Patriot League Championship with Stephen Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith. Winner and automatic bid, the NCAA Tournament. Colgate looking for its third straight title. Army trying to get its first championship since 1996. Hey, Oscar, either earlier or later. 
looks like Tim Oberg is going to come back in here, which is great news for the Colgate Raiders. Absolutely. You need that warrior in the back for the last 10 minutes of this game. Coach Ronning has been preaching mental toughness all year long. This is the moment to dig in here for Colgate. It actually looks like Colgate's dropped to a five in the back. You have Kingy on the wide right, you have Glick wide left, and you have three center backs, three beasts in the air back there. McGraw in the offensive zone. Here comes Say. Harris tracks it down. Harris punts it away. Takaki throws it forward. Here's DePietro. And a nice job by him to flip it ahead. Eighty second minute here at Ridley Athletic Complex. The lone goal from Stephen DeLeo. The hero in the semifinal last year here in Baltimore. And right now, the only man with a goal today. Janssen wins the battle. By the way, Keenan O'Shea still doesn't have a shot. Only one other time this year that happened. You have to go all the way back to September 22nd against Lehigh. Just crazy to think about. He hasn't even been close to a shot. Yeah, absolutely. Leading goal scorer in the league. Can't even get a sniff on net. You know, he's just been he's been in uh, in the center back of Colgate's their back pocket all game. O'Shane as a junior trying to keep his junior campaign alive. Milliken back in there for the Army Black Knights. And when Army thinks about this game, they'll think about those couple of opportunities for Schweikert, especially that first one. He was right there. Yeah, definitely a couple good opportunities for Schweikert, but also that first goal so so yeah. early in the game. Goals change games. It's forced them to, you know, adjust their game plan a little bit, and they have late, and they've had better opportunities late, but, you know, they still have seven minutes to get one on the board. 84th minute, here's Alberto. Looks like Colby's content just to play, play into the corners, just try to kill off this game the last seven minutes. Up ahead for McGraw. Oberg sends it off. Army pushing everybody forward at this point. Yeah, you can see McGraw is playing up top now. They're just going to look to knock balls in deep to him and hope he can win a couple balls and pick up the second balls off of him. Pereira tracks it down right near the midline. Reverses course. Here come the Black Knights, desperate in the 84th minute. O'Shea, O'Shea bends it in, off the deflection, and Harris is there. McGraw just tried to flick it with the back heel. Harris timed it up. Yeah, great effort. O'Shea gets the ball on the flank, great touch to beat his man. Good service to the near post, and McGraw just can't get enough on that one. But, you know, it's a good build up from, from Army, and they're, you know, six minutes or so to, to equalize this one. Knocked out there by Army. It's going to be Colgate ball. We'll get a substitution they're here. Gonna, they're going to take their time here for sure. Try to kill off more of this clock. Kentara Morrison in. Let's take another look at that shot. Yeah, decent service is kind of fading away on that one. I think actually it was a deflection off the center back for Harris to save. Deflections have worked out yep. well for Army. Yep. O'Shea off of Sosa. Absolutely. Sometimes better be lucky than good. But right now it's all Colgate. Raiders have it in the corner here. Alberto stands over the ball. Pereira finds O'Shea. Army. Throws it ahead off the noggin of Clark. Oh, 
Kingy plays it all the way ahead and off the foot of Janssen in the 86th minute. Army needs a hustle right now. Milliken trying to get there. Swept away there by the Army defense. Well, we need to raise their back line. They're dropping in a little bit too deep. As that ball shifts backwards, they need to step that line up. Off the shoulder of Alberto. Yeah, he's giving a handball here. Another great opportunity set piece. They're going to get everybody forward, get everybody in the box. Nervy no moments here for that Colgate defense. A freshman Hebert in California looking for a big ball here. 87th minute. Army needs the equalizer. Hebert plays it in. Pereira loads up. Not, not a bad effort. It's just very difficult to keep that one on frame when you're running away from the goal like that. Does a good job to beat a couple men. Shifts the ball across to his left, but he's off balance. Really hard to keep that ball down on frame. What a game for Jacob Harris today as he lets it roll. Morrison pops it up in the air. 88th minute, Army down by a goal. Kingy gets there. Army keeps it in. Here comes Pereira. The freshman flicks it in. Good ball. Let's see what the call will be. He'll be in the corner. Another great opportunity here off a of set piece. They're bringing everybody yep. forward. Yep. Stole the goalkeeper is on this side of I'd the field, too. In, I'd get him in the box. Might not have another good opportunity here. 88th minute. They need it now. O'Shea lets it rip. Harris steps in, and he's able to corral. Man, he has taken some aggressive moves right there. Yeah, he took that one in his own hands, but he, he misjudged it. Ball was over his head. Lucky enough to, to get the ball on the second on the rebound there, but you know, definitely some nervous moments here for Colgate. Under two to go in the ball game. Army needs to get the ball forward here. That probably not gonna get it done. Gotta keep the ball in bounds. It'll be a Colgate throw-in. And a whiff there. Goes right back to Army. Off the throw, and it's Milliken. Milliken in the corner. And we'll get another corner kick. But they'll say, actually, last touch on Army. Colgate ball. 89th minute. Russell Payne, all he can do is look right now. This team have one last effort. Steven DeLeo right now, the only goal. He's had a knack for game winners. He did it against Boston U on senior day. Did in the semis last year against Loyola. Janssen the other way. Under a minute to go. That's great work by Janssen. Actually, I think it should have been the other way, but does a great job to catch up with that ball. Turns it, holds it up a little bit. Now Army has 28 seconds to score a goal here. Here we go, Army on the throw-in. Army will have it again. 20 seconds to go. Here come the Black Knights. Oberg, nice job there. Here's Harris. Nine, three, seven, six, That's going to do it. Colgate holds on, and a dynasty is born in Baltimore, Maryland. Colgate. The three-peat in the Patriot League Championship, and they're going back to the NCAA Tournament. History made here in Baltimore, Maryland, the first team in Patriot League history to win three straight championships, and a heartbreaking loss for Army 
after defying the odds to get to this title game. And look who's holding the trophy there. Armo Legion, after being unable to play because of a red card, Colgate wins the title, and Arm gets another opportunity to play a game as a senior. Yeah, it's so exciting for, for Colgate Raiders. Obviously, it's incredibly difficult to win one of these, right? And win three in a row, it, it says a lot about the program, it says a lot about Coach Ronning and, and the classes that he's brought through here, and especially Arm Luigian and, and that senior class. What they've done over the past four years has been absolutely incredible, and just happy for him that he gets another opportunity at, to play in a Colgate Raider uniform. I'll tell you what, Stephen, it got pretty interesting late in this game. Army was really pressing everybody forward. And as we take a look back here, just a wild sequence, 88th minute. What happened here? Yeah, ball's driven in, and, and Jacob Harris comes, and, he's, and he misses it. Right? Ball bounces on the back of Hebard's uh, on his back, and, and lucky enough for Jacob Harris, able to gather it back to, back up. But, you know, that was the last good opportunity for Army, and, and then celebration's on from there. Champions once again in the Patriot League. Colgate going back to the NCAA tournament. They have more titles than anybody else in league history. We'll be right back on the Patriot League Network. Welcome back to Baltimore, Maryland. Colgate wins it one to nothing over Army. The Raiders are champions in the Patriot League again. Let's send it down to the third member of our team, Morgan Uber, who's standing by with a couple of champs. Coach, three consecutive Patriot League championships. How does this team end up consistently finding success in big games? Well, they know how to win. You know, it's a, it's a group that's been through a lot of ups, a lot of downs, and uh, they've galvanized uh, over the course of the last couple of years and even after last game when we lost one of our leaders to a red card and uh, everyone stepped up their game. It was a really uh, tightly contested match against a very good Army team. Uh, you know, we were hanging on for dear life at the end, but I couldn't be prouder of these guys. They, uh, they know how to get it done. They've uh, played in 14 playoff games together, and, uh, you know, uh, I couldn't be prouder of this group. They fight, they battle, they claw, and uh, they believe, and they love each other, and that's what it takes. Coach, congratulations. Now, I have the pleasure to be joined by senior forward Stephen DeLeo. One goal was all it took today, Stephen. This team has played from behind the entire tournament, but today you scored within the first six minutes. How important was the sense of urgency in today's game? Uh, we know we were playing such a good Army team and how they played Loyola yesterday, and we knew what we needed to do was score early and try to score often, but luckily the one goal was all it took, so we're glad to keep going. Uh, like coach, my coach said, uh, Arm went down yesterday with the red card, so we just wanted to get him another game, so we're glad to do that. You had your defender one-on-one. -on -one. How were you able to get something on that cross? Yeah, uh, you know, I just saw Freddie going down the line, and I know what he does, so he's going to get the ball in the box, and as my coaches always tell me, just get there, whatever it takes, so that's what I did, and I'm glad I got my foot on it, so. Steven, congratulations, and they will be moving on to the NCAA tournament. Congrats. Thank you. It's a moment that Steven DeLeo will never forget. Won in the semis here with a goal last year. Gets the only goal in the championship in Colgate. They are your 2018 Patriot League champs. Congrats to the Raiders. They are going back to the NCAA tournament. Steven, we talked about a couple lean years for Colgate. It wasn't that long ago. Now they are the team to beat. Quick thought from you. Yeah, absolutely. It's just a great game, a great effort, great tournament uh, from Colgate top to bottom. But, you know, hats off to, to Army. Battled the entire game. And just to even be in this game, it's, uh, it was a great game, great effort. And they've had a definitely successful season. So great game by Army. Congratulations to Colgate. Going to be prouder of my, my alma mater. So uh, they're going back to the NCAA tournament, looking to make some more noise. Lots to be proud of for Army. A season still to play for the Colgate Raiders. Congrats to the Colgate Raiders, your Patriot League champs in 2018. Coming up next, it's WCC All Access. For Stephen Miller, I'm DJ Sixsmith. More live games, replays of classic games, and daily original studio programming. Visit watchstadium.com or search stadium in your local channel guide. What a week it was in Baltimore. What a day for Stephen DeLeo and the Colgate Raiders. They're moving on to the NCAA tournament. So long from Baltimore, Maryland on the Patriot League Network on Stadium.